Ford Maverick accessories. It can be complicated, it can be confusing. There's multiple choices all over the place, but we're gonna be talking about bed covers, the interior of beds, the bottom of beds that is, as well as flooring. What do you really need to know? What do you need? for what you're gonna use it for. So we've got multiple types of accessories. Here you can see we've got the tri-folding cover. I like its price. It's almost half, it's not quite half the price as the soft roll up, but the thing is, water has known to get in just a little bit more and it does leave the look of the bed. It's got that kind of pyramid look to it, whereas you see Marie here when she's been demonstrating to us the roll-up cover. Now this thing is 1300 Canadian versus about 650 Canadian for the other either soft folding or soft rolling or soft folding. So this is almost twice the price, but look how good that is. You've got the logo there and you can see this truck right here, Russell's truck, it's got the spray and bed liner. The spray and bed liner, I've got, we'll get to that in just a moment, but this roll up really, the only thing I'm not a huge fan of is the price. Do keep in mind, you're gonna lose a little bit of visibility. You are going to definitely lose a little bit of bed space if you plan on loading beyond the rails of the bed. However, it's so easy. You see Marie here, open, close, only takes a few seconds, is very flush with the bed, so it looks amazing. It's got the best look and it lets next to no water in. So if you wanna keep water out of your box or criminals out of your box, because you can't just cut into this, you can't just pull out a knife and cut into it, it is the safest option. Whereas when we go with any of the soft covers, they cost so much less. But unless you're getting, spending a little bit more for you know on the F-150s, they're my favorite models, waiting for it to come to the Maverick, but either a soft, the soft rolling that is flush, if you go with the current models, you're getting a bit of that little two, three inch lift over the bed. And inside, it's a little more complicated to use because you have to reach further in to grab those handles. Now also keep in mind that either the hard folding or hard roll up is gonna last a lot longer. These, you know, either the soft roll up, which has a Velcro strip for rolling and rolling, which the Velcro strip with time can get, you know, kind of jammed up with gunk. But either way, they're vinyl and they're gonna crack and rip with time. Even if no one cuts into it, they're not gonna last nearly as long. You see those handles right there? You've gotta reach in and pull on those. So just a little bit more complicated than your more expensive hard roll up or fold up option. Now we're gonna hear from Tristan all about the floor mats. Now the floor mats are easy because you can't get any from Ford right now. So he found a company, absolute fantastic price. I encourage you to look on uh, the internet for them. You'll see the little logo, the name, but he's gonna talk to us about that. Then I'm gonna be back and talking to you all about the different covers, you know, the in inner bed liner, whether you go with a drop-in, which is plastic or the spray. So let's hear from Tristan. Hi folks. So this is my Maverick, uh, I'm Tristan, John talked uh, about me a couple of uh, weeks ago uh, in a couple of videos. So I just received my mats from a tux mat. I really like those ones, basically they cover everything from the pedal completely to the hub. John's going to show you in the video a little bit more. I absolutely approve of these mats and if everyone is wondering, yeah I probably am too cheap to buy the roll up cover, hard roll up cover for Marie, but these mats I absolutely will buy for Marie, it will be my surprise to her, I absolutely love them and so will she. Basically the company didn't release yet the model for the Maverick, but uh, we found on the maverickclub.com on the forum that they are the same fit from the Bronco Sports so I only uh, ordered the one in the front because in the back they're not going to fit but really love the result really really nice quality same price as the Weather Tech but I prefer the texture on those one and better coverage so if you want some really like those so just in case you missed it Tristan said that he had to order these putting in as a model the escape but the front ones not the back ones but the front ones fit right in they look great they're i don't know if they're going to be easy to clean with those little divots in them but i don't care they're not slippery when wet weather tech i've slipped before but once ice builds up on them so i really really like these mats and 
I'm famously cheap, but I like him so much, I'm gonna buy him for Marie. Now, being that I am famously cheap, I probably won't buy the hard roll-up cover for Marie. She would need to tell me first that she wants a Ford Mavericks for like the next five, six years for me to spend 1300, but boy, does it ever look good. So now, what are we gonna talk about? Let's talk because clearly these mats are an absolute winner. And I also like Russell's idea of, you know, having a windshield 3M protector against stone chips because I've already got a chip in my Bronco and both Tristan and Russell have the XLT and they've bought their own, they didn't get Lux package, so they found their own LEDs online. So check that out, there's an idea for you all. Now if you are thinking of beds, keep in mind, plastic is a little less expensive than getting a spray in aftermarket. Uh, however, the plastic will cover your accessory electronic uh, wiring in the back. So if you do plan on wiring up your own LEDs, just keep in mind that the plastic is, you know, you're either cutting out that little hole for the accessories, the accessory wire, but do keep in mind the plastic is less durable. If you try to throw in something like a skidoo, it'll rip right through. The Linex, far more grip, more long lasting, but once you get a stain in there, it's also gonna last there. It also scratches, so you can't just pull it out and replace it. Personally, I do prefer the spray-in bed liner, but I do like how the plastic has this logo, but when you do get ice in it, it is gonna be slippery when you have the drop-in bed liner. That's the plastic one, but it's got a really cool, you know, forward Maverick written in it. So I am more for the spray-in, but for our own order, we're gonna live with the drop-in bed liner, hoping we get it finally, get a VIN and a build. So let's wrap this up. In conclusion, thank you so much for watching so far. I've got to conclude all this. I'm almost convinced that this roll up is actually really worth the money because of how easy it is to use, how clean it looks. You know, it's got that smooth, flush look versus if you go with the soft covers, they're either the soft folding or the soft roll up, both of which you're gonna have this little tent thing. Now the F-150s, they have a really flat rolling model. It's a little more expensive and I am looking forward to that coming to the Maverick because I do not live in an area where people, you know, cut into boxes to steal stuff. Remember if you have an XLT, you actually, on your key fob, when you lock the truck, it locks the tailgate. Whereas an XL, you gotta, you know, stick the key in to actually manually lock your tailgate. But once we have a flat roll up, I'll be all about that. Until then, I've got to say, other than price, it's a total 10 on 10 when we talk about the hard roll up. Now with the hard roll up, you are going to lose a little bit of space uh, above your window, but if it was a hard fold up or soft fold up, like we see right here, when it's hard or soft fold up, you're either losing, you know, a bit of box, because that last third section, you either leave everything folded up or you push it up against the window and you see nothing. Now, bed liners. I think the plastic looks really great. It's not as long lasting. You know, the plastic has that cool Maverick logo uh, written, popping out of it. I love it. The Linex doesn't have that, the spray-in, sorry, but the spray-in, it's causing delays. And speaking of delays, if you want to get your Maverick, just real quick, keep in, keep in mind everything that requires more microchips like 4K, Co-Pilot, Lux package is going to take longer. So here's a nice little photo of that plastic drop-in. You've got the rails there. L really practical, looks great, but the Lux package has those heated seats, heated steering wheel, heated mirrors, it even has heated wipers. So all of that is gonna mean longer delays and wait times if you've ordered the Lux package. So just keep in mind, if any of that stuff, you need to get your Maverick sooner because whatever the reason may be, removing, removing the equipment, that requires more microchips will get you your Maverick sooner. And accessories, do try to get them from the dealership or online because when you have it on your order, your order is only getting built when they so have a nice simple everything build like at an the FX4, factory XLT each and every time they try to build quick. your Maverick. So you can get now pushed aside videos for on quite that. a while. And speaking of other videos, I'll be coming back with an EcoBoost test drive. Tristan will be back in the house with us, helping us test drive his Maverick EcoBoost all-wheel drive 4K 
Day, which was delayed horrifically because of that 4K. But I wish you all a fantastic week. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate you all and all the support that you've given to the channel. Until next time, I wish you all more cars and more power. Have a great week.